Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is gonna be a DIY and makeup. So let's get right into it. To make my cotton candy, I used a handful of pillow stuffing. It was more than enough. I didn't need that much. So you'll see me break it apart and then break it apart again later. But this is the same stuffing I used for my cloud video. So this stuff goes a long way. For that pink and blue cotton candy color, I just used my pastel chalks and an X-Acto knife to shave down the chalk into powder. The first thing I did was flatten the fluff into like a pancake shape just so the middle of it wouldn't be all white and the outside would have powder. And then I grabbed the brush and dabbed powder all over the fluff little by little, but I realized it would go a lot faster if I just smeared the fluff into all the powder. So that's what I eventually do with both of them. After smearing the fluff into the powder, I thought the fluff was a little too big, so I ripped that in half and rolled it around in my palms to make a ball, just making sure the ball was more golf ball sized. And that was it, and I did the same thing to the blue one. To seal all the powder in, I sprayed the fluff balls with some Aquanet hairspray. I'm sure any hairspray would work just fine though. To make the cones, I used printer paper. I just used one sheet. I folded it hamburger style, and then I folded it hamburger style again, and then I cut that fold. Do you guys remember when the teacher would tell you hamburger or hot dog, which is one side was like fatter side, one side was skinny side. Anyways, after I cut it down the middle, I just fold it hamburger style one more time, and then I trim off the excess on the edge just so it's a perfect square. After it was a square, I rolled it up on an angle to make that cone shape. I wanted to use folded paper so it looked thicker like the cotton candy cones you'd see at the fair or the carnival instead of having just a thin piece of printer paper. After it was rolled up to where I liked it, I put one piece of tape along the edge to hold it in place. I trimmed the top to flatten it out and I used these piping tips you get from the Dollar Tree to hold the cones in place while I put the hot glue in them. It helped hold their shape while the glue set, plus it was really hot so holding onto the piping tip edges really helped me. I then did the exact same thing to the other cone. After the glue had set and it was nice and cool, I just removed the piping tips and the tape. I then cut them down just to make sure they're near the same size. They don't have to be perfect. I just want them to look closely to the same size. These are the hair clips I got. I thought they were perfect because they're a bigger size than the average clips and they had pastel blue and pink. I glued the cones on the edge of the clips and I used my X-Acto knife to clean up any glue drips. I made sure to glue the cone on near the top half of it because that part's the heaviest and I made sure to show the folded part of the paper of the cone so it looked more like a carnival cone. To finish off these clips, I just put hot glue on the top of my cones and grabbed the fluff in ball form and pushed it down to the top of the cone. I then used my X-Acto knife and some more glue to smooth down the edges of fluff around the cone. And here are the clips all done. They are absolutely adorable and I'm totally gonna wear them. Do you guys remember that cartoon on Disney Channel, Wizards of Waverly Place? I only watched a couple episodes, but I do remember that character Harper. She would always wear the weirdest stuff and I swear this is something she'd wear. Now onto the makeup portion of this video. I did my makeup, but I didn't put any makeup on my nose or cheeks, so those are completely bare. I then used NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk as my base. I then blended out all those harsh lines with my ring finger. For the colors, I wanted them to look like the traditional cotton candy colors, so I made sure to only use pastel blue and pastel pink. In some spots where the colors meet, it does look a little purple, but I didn't use any purple. It's just because they blended together, it gives that hue. Thank you. 
To put the freckles on, I used an eyeliner pencil to outline a cotton candy shape. I didn't have a white eyeliner pencil, so I just used a beige one. I used Snazaroo white face paint and an eyeshadow brush to color in the cotton candies. A white liquid eyeliner would have been better, but this was all I had at the moment. The eyeshadow brush is flat, which is perfect for the cone, but not so much the fluff part. So you'll see later that I used the back of the brush to dip it into the paint and to make more of that rounded fluffy edge. After my makeup was all done and dry, I put these clips onto the sides of my head. I did put the other clip of the matching color to push back the hair first and then I added the cotton candy clips. And to be really matchy matchy, here I am showing off my nails. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you all and I will see you guys next time.